Hello, all you wonderful Rise of Kingdoms players out there. This is Dragothian here, and today we're going to be doing a video on migration to Kingdom 916. Now, this has basically taken up the majority of my time. The last month, month and a half, I've been doing plans for KVK. I've been helping execute those plans. We've done a little bit of fighting. We've also got Kingdom 307's KVK going on, and that's coming along nicely. You're going to get some nice content from that coming out very soon. However, I would say again, 80 to 90 percent of my non-fighting, non-planning time has been talking to people about people wanting to migrate to Kingdom 916. What's the kingdom all about? What do you have to do to get in? That kind of thing. And instead of just rehashing the same conversation 1,000 times over, I figured I'd go ahead and make a video and make it not only easier for you guys, but easier for me <laughs> because. I would much rather be able to just give you the link to the video so you can see what's going on here and what we're looking for in 916 and what it's all about. What we're going to be doing, uh, first I want to make sure that you guys understand what 916 is about so that you know if you should come here because it's not going to be for everybody. Um, and then secondly we'll go into what it looks like for your account and are you a good fit. So first off the kingdom itself. The kingdom is going to be a kingdom first kingdom. meaning. The alliances in these kingdoms, we've built them from the ground up. I've got um, people that I've played with for over a year, almost two years in this game that are leading some of the alliances. There's also some of these alliances that are led by people who started the game in 916. And um, they are good leaders, they're good people, and they're going to be leading those alliances too. But ultimately, all these alliances are coming in together as a kingdom. It's not going to be a okay, well, I'm not top three. I don't want to deal with this. If that's your mentality, that's your first that's your first red flag of maybe this isn't the kingdom for you because all the, the alliances in this kingdom are going to be contributing in one way, shape, or form to its success and also enjoy its rewards as well. So um, you need to kind of have your head wrapped around that. It's not the, tra the traditional early game where, you know, well, my alliance has more power than your alliance, so that means I'm more important. That's not a thing. Um, we've weeded out that mentality in 916 for the most part already. That was the one war we had, basically. Um, that's not going to really benefit you if you have that mentality. Coming into 916, you're not going to really feel like a good fit. I'm just going to be honest with you. So that's the first thing. Second thing is just in general, right? This kingdom is going to be a fighting kingdom if you're coming here and you're expecting to just kind of hop in an alliance and just enjoy the rewards and not contribute towards its success again you're not going to have a great time here um and it's not because we're going to ask you to leave if you're significantly high power but um it's just because that's what the kingdom's about uh, this kingdom is a fighting kingdom i mean the kingdom's name for god's sakes is Kingdom of Killing. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't have asked for anything better whenever we decided to do 916 as our new starter kingdom. And um, that's what this kingdom is going to be about. That's the kingdoms that I've always joined um, and I've been a part of, and I don't know any other way. So the reason we kind of started this project in 916 was that we wanted to basically build a kingdom in our image of having a solidly built, well-run, fair, but fighting kingdom and fair goes both ways right fair is not just oh well, i didn't get in my way so it's not fair no fair is you know what this is about this is a fighting kingdom it's a meritocracy this is not a okay well you've got 10 more ten thousand more power than i do or 10 million more power than i do that means that you get the run of everything that you get to do no that's not that's not what this kingdom is about some common sense is definitely involved here when it comes to um you know the events and things like that which we'll get into as well but that's a big deal, is, is really just kind of understanding what this kingdom is really going to be about. So that's the that's the biggest first thing. Um, you know, KVK, Osiris League, um, the growth and activity of the kingdom are paramount. We, ha we want people coming over that are going to be active every day, contributing towards the growth and activity of the kingdom. Um, that's definitely a critical, critical part. And ultimately what that leads to is when we go to KVK, I want to see eight alliances worth of people, full alliances worth of people on that battlefield all the time. I mean, this kingdom is going to be so jam-packed with people, you're going to have the opportunity to fight. I'm going to make sure that we have that. Uh, again, we already talked about this being a kingdom first, alliance second kingdom. This is a 
um, a kingdom for active growing fighters or people who are fighters who just want to go someplace that's solidly run, that's well led, good strategy, all that good stuff when it comes to KVK and Osiris League. Um, and then again, so we, for rules, let's talk about some rules. There's no city hitting. There's no city hitting period. Um, I don't care if it's a, uh, unless it's an absolutely dead account or something like that. And we can talk about that. I've kind of let the alliances um, own up to that. But as far as just city hitting in general, especially during kill event, which we'll get to, um, there's no city hitting and there's no, there's no like, oh, well, I made a mistake. No, you, you, hit, you hit a city, you don't belong here. Um, if you're hitting cities, that means you're not kingdom first because that player is supposed to be here to grow and help the kingdom by growing and you just eliminated that. So um, no city hitting, there's a zero strike policy on that. If you city hit, you're gone um, and we'll help, you, we'll help you leave whether you want to stay or not. I mean, there's just no way, to, no way about it. Um, and then secondly, farmer killing, that's a no-no as well. There is a one strike rule on that. If you farmer kill once, that's your strike. After that strike, you're out. Same thing as the city hitting thing. Um, again, we're, this is a no-nonsense kingdom, guys. This is, this is a kingdom for players who know how to play the game, who want to play it right, and you don't have to worry about when they send out their farmers if they're going to get uh, a bunch of reports whenever they log in um, in a little bit. So just kind of keep in mind the common sense stuff that we're talking about, okay? Um, also, just the mentality. Everything that you're doing, just it's not about me, it's about we. So we need to understand that your actions in the game, right? You're not going to do something that's going to hurt a fellow kingdom member's growth. If you're hitting cities, if you're hitting farmers, those are hindering growth, right? So those need to go away. Um, that's a big deal. But just in general, playing the game, we're all here to help each other. I know that alliances have this mentality quite often. I want that mentality for the kingdom. The kingdom is one alliance. It's just that the game doesn't allow us to all be in one alliance. So we have to do what we have to do. But that's part of the thing. Now let's jump to MGE because that's another um, popular question that I get asked. Um, MGE is going to be wide open. I, I, I understand the need for regulating MGEs to a certain extent. I will say that I feel like this is a little bit of a unique situation in the sense that we're gonna be on the Khan and Saudin cycle whenever migration opens in 916 and the majority of the people that are going to be coming in either already have one or both of those maxed or they have them unlocked but they don't plan on maxing them so i think that ultimately we're going to have a long time before we get to commanders like say attila or theodora or something like that where we really have to maybe even start looking at a uh, controlled MGE, but I, I really, I just, in my way of playing this game, right? I don't want to hinder anybody from growing their account. And I think we're going to be active enough. We're going to have enough fighters in this kingdom and we're going to have the right type of players in this kingdom to where we don't necessarily need to control those MGEs because the reason you do that is to put those commanders in the hands of the fighters that are on the front line all the time. If you just heard the last five minutes of me rambling, 10 minutes of me rambling, the whole kingdom is supposed to be that. Now, in my opinion, this is the way it should be for at least anything that I'm a part of. So this is what we're gonna do. The first three MGEs, they're wide open with the exception of the kill event. Kill event is rewards only unless there's a fight. So if we're in KVK, obviously it's all hands on deck. Kill to your heart's content. Kill event is the kill event. But if we're in regular kingdom and there's no KVK going on, uh, there's no reason for you to go over the rewards number for kill event. It just doesn't make sense. You're, you're wasting resources to feed yourself or you can do a duel or something like that. There's no reason to waste resources feeding that's another thing too. T1 feeding is not allowed in this kingdom. If you do it, it's a one strike policy and you're done. That's a thing too. Um, so that's part of it. There's no T1 feeding and that's part of the criteria I look at when we start looking at who's a good fit, you know, which we're going to get into in just a second. So um, 
MGEs, the first three are going to be wide open. That means you can train as much as you want on the training day. You can kill as many barbs as you want. You can gather as many resources as you want. You can power up as much as you want on day four. Day five is limited to, let's just call it a million points, even though that's not even close. It's way over the, the rewards thing, but I think a million is a good cap because there's really no reason to be killing anybody other than other kingdoms. So that's going to be that. Now the fourth one, I'm going to limit to 45 million and under being in the top 10. The reason I say that, we are migrating a ton of people into this kingdom. This kingdom already is super, super populated. It's already double what the other point totals is for the kingdoms in our current KVK. This KVK has been a little bit slower for us because nobody wanted to necessarily fight us because we were so active and so powerful. So I don't want to hinder the people who started here in 916 that these are their main accounts. I don't want to hinder them by having all these people come in and just take all the, the MGEs. So the fourth one, I want to make sure that they at least have a chance to place decently high. So 45 mil power and under are what's going to get the top 10. I'm not going to call who that is. I'm just going to say if you're in the top 10 and you're not 45 mil, that's a problem and we're going to have to fix that issue. Um, everybody after the top 10, go ham. Just don't break into the top 10 if you're not 45 million power or under. Same rules apply for kill event unless we have to use the kill event to fix something that somebody caused by breaking that 45 million rule. And then again, we will address that if and when that happens. So that's kind of the general rules of the kingdom. Everybody's together. There's no fights. There's no animosity. We took care of one big fight at the very beginning of KB, uh, at the very beginning of the kingdom, and kind of sorted out players that weren't necessarily here for the right reasons or didn't really understand what we were trying to do here, and um, we helped them move on to other places. So that's the mentality of this kingdom: fighting kingdom, super active, high growth, tons of activity when it comes to players coming in, and then just. In general, that's going to translate to very successful KVKs, very successful times fighting. Uh, and that will allow me to really help strategize what's going on when it comes to KVK. Now, that's the other thing. Before I jump into the criteria, and I know I'm, this is way longer than I thought it was going to be, but this has basically been my day <laughs> every day for the past month and a half. Um, another thing, we have a, a council kind of where all the alliance leaders... Um, R5s and R4s have a voice. Um, if there's a problem, we solve it together. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but when it comes to strategy, um, I've got myself and a few other people that I trust to make strategy and I take recommendations. Certainly, if you've got an idea that's better than mine, I do want to hear it. But when it comes down to actually setting the strategy and executing on it, that's, that's why I did this, was to make sure that a kingdom that I'm in has, at least in my opinion, the right strategy to win the day. So that's that's going to be the deal. I mean, it's it's not going to be a, a, a monarchy kind of thing or a dictatorship kind of thing, but it's going to be a... People are going to feed some information to me to you know, give me what they think, but at the end of the day, I'm going to kind of make the strategy. When it comes to kingdom decisions and things like that, it's the same thing. It's, it's more of a Senate type of situation. But when it comes to the actual strategy of um, the kingdom and KVK and things like that, I'll, I'll tend to run that. Um, okay, so let's jump into criteria. Anybody 55 million and under is welcome to come, right off the bat. The schedule is going to be um, the first two weeks. So the first 14 days, it's going to be only 55 mil and under, with the exception of people who started in 916 and want to bring their mains. So people who were in 916 from the beginning that contributed towards KVK, that, that invested in their accounts, and ultimately are gonna probably turn this into either an alt fighting or a farm account, that's fine. You can bring your mains in right away, regardless of power. But anybody who didn't, anybody who did not start their accounts in 916 when we started, and I can tell these things, um, you're gonna have to wait if you're over 55 mil for two weeks. So the first two weeks, 
55 mil or under you see on the um, immigration cap right there it's already set there so as soon as it unlocks we're going to be off to the races now i've already again i've been talking for a month and a half to two months plus people wanting to come in we've got 500 plus people wanting to come in just on the 55 million section not even including the over 55 million so we're gonna run into a problem space i'm not kidding with you um we've been talking about this on how to handle it honestly we're going to have um a coordinating liaison when it comes to actually getting the people in and sifting people out um and then also we've got a contact person for you to contact to actually kind of register if you want to put it that way it's you don't have to do the registry or whatever but it's just helpful for us to kind of get an idea of what's going on especially if you are over 55 million i want to make sure that i, I write you down and we talk because that's the next thing if you're over 55 million once that two week period is over and that's a hard rule i'm not breaking that rule the only people that are getting in over 55 million within that first two weeks are the people that are already here okay and they're just basically swapping their accounts if you're over 55 million you will affect the imperium cap okay i don't want this to be an imperium kingdom that's not what i'm looking for so I want to make sure that I control the amount of power coming in over 55 million to just be people who fit that criteria that I've been talking about for the last 15 minutes. You're a fighter, you're active, you're not just throwing stuff around and you're throwing T1s everywhere and not knowing what to do and don't know how commanders work. I can help teach you those things, but I need people who are going to be fighters who understand what they're supposed to do and are active during fighting times. They don't just magically disappear whenever it's fighting time and then coming at the end acting like they were there the whole time. So if you're over 55 million, I want to see your account. I wanna see a few things. The criteria that I look for over 55 million, everybody asks me. I wanna know the age of the account. I wanna know how many kills you have. And I can just, just give me your coordinates and this tells me everything I need to know. The kills, the and by by extension of that, the the kill ratio, right? T one to T five. I also want to see your resource assistance, and I also want to see your dead. A combination of those four items, generally, I'm pretty much able to peg ninety five percent what kind of player you are. Um, and I did this on our after party for uh, Sip and Saturday a couple weeks ago, and it was kind of fun, but at the same time. Um, it was it was it was fun to do but it wasn't necessarily what people wanted to hear <laughs> so um unless you had the right stuff and then of course you love hearing that kind of thing so um i this has been the hardest part of this conversation because i've had people who have reached out to me that are 61 million and they've got 300 million kills and they're almost all t4 and t5 i absolutely say wait your two weeks and you are in my friend you're absolutely going to rock it out but then i have other players who come to me and they're 85 million power and they've got 6 million kills and they're in a, a early 50 kingdom and or late 50 kingdom maybe and they're like yeah i want to come and join you i'm like you're not going to be a good fit man you're just not going to be a good fit and and, it, and if i say you're not going to be a good fit you know take it for what it is i'm not trying to be mean but i also don't want you to come here and have to get booted out i I'm trying to help you, <laughs> help you help me kind of thing, um, or help me help you because I don't want you to come here with all that power, which is clearly very, you, you want that really bad. You want that power, right? If you have that kind of power and no kills, no deaths, no resource assistance, you're very covetous of that power. Help me help you keep it because if you come here and we have a KBK and you don't fight, you're not going to be continued to be welcome here unless there's an act of God or a sickness because we don't have the luxury. We're not going to have the luxury of allowing 60, 70, 80, 100, 200 million players in here when they don't fight. It, we're just not going to have that luxury because we're going to be right up against that Imperium cap. So 
Uh, I don't want to go Imperium. I want to make sure that anything that we have that's over 55 mil is a hard fighting contributor of the kingdom. When KBK time comes around, I can rely on you to be there every single time. And you're anxious and you're not only there, you're excited to be there. You're there an hour early because you want to fight. Those are the players that we want. The whole kingdom is going to be completely filled up with players like that. So if that's you, come on over. Now, how do you come over? So I told you about two people that are going to be kind of coordinating things. Well, it's going to be three. So the person to reach out to, to actually get signed up, especially if you're over 55 mil, is uh, Skywalker. So um, in the description below, I will put his Discord um, for Skywalker. Reach out to him. He's putting together the spreadsheet of everybody over 55 mil as of about a week and a half ago because I have gotten so overwhelmed with and <laughs> people who are wanting to come that I just I had to I had to start delegating. Before it was just I was kind of doing it as I was going and it wasn't a big deal, but I've had to start delegating. So Skywalker is going to be the one to actually coordinate the migration itself with me. But if you're over 55 million, I would like you to reach out to Skywalker to get on the list if you think that this is a place that you want to be and we'll kind of investigate your account and we'll talk to you. I mean, there are extenuating circumstances. I've already talked to a few people over 55 million that don't necessarily have the best stats, but they're a later kingdom or they were only in two KBKs and both KBKs were really easy or something like that. I'm willing to give the benefit of the doubt. However, again, you're doing this to yourself. If you are, if you're just blowing smoke, trying to get into the kingdom and trying to leech rewards, you're doing this to yourself if it comes to that. Now, if truly you had really easy KBKs and you wanted to fight and you fought as much as you could, but there was just nothing to kill, which I do understand in this KBK one that I'm in, we've only had a few opportunities to fight. That's why I've only got 12 million kills instead of the 100 million that I plan on having. So I get it. It can happen. But just understand that the kingdom you're coming to will have plenty of opportunity to fight. You will have loads of opportunity to fight. And if you don't fight when the opportunity presents itself, you'll be asked to leave first and then you'll be helped to leave second if you don't decide to leave on your own. So... That's the thing. Skywalker will be your guy. Reach out to him. Again, link is in the description below for his Discord ID. Reach out to him on Discord and get on that list. Second thing is, again, I'm going to have a coordinating liaison. As people come in, I'm going to have two individuals. It's going to be Queenie and Jesse. Both of them are going to be basically coordinating people throughout the kingdom. So, We'll try to keep people together as a group as much as possible, but we have full alliances wanting to come in. We have groups of 5, 10, 20, 30, 80 wanting to come in. I've asked those groups, is it okay if you get broken up? Because honestly, we've got a ton of people coming in. If it's a huge problem, I can't guarantee that you're not. And again, I don't want you to migrate here and not get what you're looking for. So um, that's up to those individual groups. However, again, Anybody who's wanting to migrate in, if you need assistance finding a home, those two individuals will be your coordinating liaisons, and I will put the link to their discords below as well. So you can go ahead and get them in the game or in Discord. So with that all being said, with that all being said, <laughs> um, what what's the plans, right? So what's the plans on what's going on? We've got 127 days into this kingdom. It's going to be about 25 more days or so uh, before our KBK is over. Okay, so you got about three and a half weeks, at which point all of this is going to start shaking out. All of it's going to start going down and it's going to basically be a hot mess. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be a little crazy, especially the first couple weeks as people are getting sorted around and organized and put together. Again, alliances are alliances. They're not inferior to one another some alliances have shrines some alliances have all the sanctums and altars some just have some sanctums for growth almost all alliances will have access to zone three in one way shape or form okay so you're going to have what you can have to grow you're going to have what you need to grow there's daily kingdom buffs you're going to have what you need to make your account the most efficient 
as long as you fight. If you fight, you're going to love this kingdom and um, the people in it are really, really good people. If you don't like those things, then you're probably not going to have a great time. And like I said, you're probably going to shoot yourself in the foot if you come over here and you don't want to fight and you don't want to contribute and you just want to be left alone and farm. It's probably not the place for you. One last thing before I wrap this up, as this turns into almost a 30 minute video. Um, I want to be very clear. I want to spread the power, spread the love, spread the power. Okay. I'm not going to jam pack one alliance. Like for instance, up, up top, it says the King T2A Dragothian 916. T2A is the alliance that we founded as a group together when we first started in the kingdom. And it's gotten about 15 different numerical iterations after that, which we'll probably be renaming some things just because you'll see when you get here. But um, I'm not jam packing everybody in T2A or I'm not jam packing everybody in WA or I'm not jam packing everybody in the K916. I want to spread the power around because just like I said before, this is a fighting kingdom. It does not make sense to put 90 T5 players in one alliance and have one T5 player in another alliance. That's going to be a fighting alliance. I would say there's going to be at least eight, eight to 10 fighting alliances in this kingdom. Now, some will have more capability than others because of buffs. But there will be 8 to 10, and there already are 7 to 8 right now in our current KVK with our current membership. So we're just going to be filling the ranks with the higher power players that are coming in, washing out the people that don't want to stay or that are low growth and they can move to growth alliances or they just want to farm, they can move to farm alliances. We're going to be shifting players around based on what their want in the game is. But I will be spreading the power around because... This will have, this kingdom will have at least three to four major, major fighting alliances. Right now, we basically already have that, but the third one needs a little bit more love from a power perspective, which is what the migration is going to have happen. So um, we've got roughly, we've got three main alliances with three shrines. We've got five war support alliances with all the war buffs except the shrines. And... Uh, even a little bit of extra when it comes to uh, tech and things like that. Their war tech is very good. We should have at least one or two maxed out war tech alliances by the time migration happens. I know T2A is already maxed war tech except for archers and siege. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope that I've answered all your questions. If you have other questions, please throw them in the comment section below. If you've made it to the end of this video with me, kudos. This is about three times longer than I thought this was going to be, but it's a lot of information. <laughs> it's a lot of information and it's a lot of things to get off my chest. And I'm looking forward to this. I really am. I'm, I'm, we're right there. We're right there at the point where we were begging for four months ago. It's been four months this, since this kingdom opened up and I'm really excited to see what this kingdom turns into. I'm looking for this to be another 307, another 93, another, um, where's some other kingdom? 331 uh, is another prime example of, of the king, the type of kingdom that this should be. Um, 341 was a good one as well. Just maybe let a little, let a little differently. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope it's been informational. It's been one that I wanted, wanted to make a while and I've been putting off because I didn't, well, I was hoping it wouldn't last this long, but it did. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I hope that you are looking forward to coming here. If you are, if you're not, that's cool too. It's all good. I just want you guys to know what 916 is going to be about and um, how to get in if that's something you're interested in or if you should get in in the first place based on the rules, based on the way the kingdom is going to be, that kind of thing. So hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one. Take care.